Question, who's in the mood for some quick tips to save a little bit of cash? Back in a minute. I love that jingle. Hi, this is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. How's everybody doing on this Sunday afternoon? Hope that this video finds everybody, as usual, doing well. Let's get right away over to the points I'd like to make. You know, these ideas are tried and true. They've worked in the past, and they work. That's the thing. They work. That's why they have lasting power. We'll get started with tip number one. Uh, Save money by getting a whole chicken and consider learning how to debone it and cut it yourself. Now, I personally, as a left-handed person and a person that's rather clumsy, people like myself maybe should steer clear of that. So just give me a little warning. But for those who have a a better sense of cutting and stuff, um, this is a great idea. And yes, it does, does definitely save money because if you could get the whole chickens on sale, you get a good price for it. You could cut them up. Heck, why not? cut it to the way you like it. And that would work. I do have a little bit of a tip on that. If you have meat or chicken that you're working with, they do notice something semi frozen or semi thawed, whatever way you want to look at it to cut that type up that way to me is a lot easier for me. It has worked for me. So this is a thought that you could consider next use leftovers. I wish there was another word for leftover. Can somebody please come up with one and let me know what the word would be in the description box below? Because the word leftover connotates negativity to some people and they feel like, oh, leftovers. Personally, I like multi-use meals, but we'll get into that in a minute. So use leftovers to create your own frozen convenience foods. You know, today they sell those wonderful compartmental types of containers that you could freeze your meals and you can make your own frozen dinners. It's so simple. Don't waste anything. Even if you live by yourself, and especially if you live by yourself, it's a great idea to do that. If you live with a bunch of other people and you just have enough left over for one person. So use a single, a single serving thing and freeze it. There's no excuse for food waste. Food waste is a big no, no for me. I don't like it. I think it's uncool. I think it's wrong, but there's so many reasons why we could think that way. But you can, you know, do this and put it in your freezer and you've got yourself a, you know, extra meal very quickly and easily to be defrosted and used. Next, always make meals that generate a future meal. I'm not interested in a hit and run meal. Okay, once in a while, there might be a situation where you have is what I call a hit and run meal, it's just a one time only meal. But if you do that like 20 times a month, that's losing money. Always get the kind of meal that you can regenerate, reproduce another meal from that original meal. It doesn't have to be the exact same meal. No. But as long as you can get another use out of it, you're getting your money's worth. I'm just not interested in those hit and run meals, as I call them. <laughs> anyway, consider purchasing an air popper. I may treat myself to one of those for my upcoming birthday in December. And uh, they're not expensive. They're not that expensive, but I'll probably be part of my mad crazy money. Um, I think it's a healthier option over the, you know, the microwave type. This is my opinion. I think there's probably enough chemicals and all these things or whatever. If you could just make it, you know, the way grandma made it, so to speak, you know, fresh, freshly made. And uh, it's probably tasting a lot better than uh, the other stuff, the chemical stuff. So this may be on my definitely get for my birthday list. Um, Okay, Air Popper, stop being a food snob. Do not be a food snob when it comes to, you know, like labels. You you get label uh, snobbish on stuff. Just be willing, keep an open mind to at least try something once that's like not a familiar brand to you. Some people are afraid. They don't want to open their mind. They don't want to think outside of the box. And literally outside of a box and, you know, brand loyalty, you're used to the colors, you're used to the pictures. It just makes you feel secure. Meantime, it quite possibly can be the same exact contents. 
in an, on another label, you know, through licensing deals and business and, and stuff like that nature. So don't be a food snob. Keep your mind open to trying, you know, new things. Well, what's considered new to you. Like, for example, like with coffee, I'll give you an example. To me, coffee's coffee, okay? Some may have various flavors. Some may have various types of grind. But at the end of the day, I'm not a coffee snob at all. I'll drink my instant coffee, and I'm perfectly happy doing it. So um, that's it. Also, buy less of out-of-season fresh produce, for example. Stick to root vegetables. Root vegetables like uh, carrots, celery, onions, potatoes, um, things of that nature as far as fruit, apples, bananas, very, very inexpensive. I tend to enjoy tropical fruit. I'm not going to lie. Like I do like tropical fruit, but tropical fruit can sometimes be expensive. You know, catch your sales whenever you can. Green bell peppers versus red bell peppers, for example. A green bell pepper is a lot cheaper than a red bell pepper. Yes, there is a little difference in taste. The red bell peppers. I don't know if it's my imagination, but they strike me as being a little bit sweeter than the green bell pepper. You could take advantage of those bags of frozen peppers and onion that has, including the red and the green and everything in it, in case you need like that type of uh, a medley to add to like if you're making sausage and peppers or another dish that requires that ingredient. It is really, really a great option and actually can actually be a money saver at that. I hope these quick tips help. I, I know they work, so I hope it helps and utilize it. Even if I help one person today, I made uh, I made an accomplishment today. <laughs> I did something important. There you go. In the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you so much for viewing. Why? Because I really do appreciate who? You. Don't forget to come back every single morning. I upload at 5 o'clock. If you're not up at 5, they'll be there when you're awake. There you go. But I do upload 5 o'clock every single morning, Monday through Friday, Eastern time, uh, variously. I may put something up on a weekend randomly like I did today, for example, Sunday afternoon, many times on Sunday afternoon at two o'clock. It's not fixed in stone, but many, many. But the Monday through Friday is always, that's a given, Monday through Friday, Eastern time, 5 a.m. There you go. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Thank you so much for viewing. Bye-bye.